Welcome to class 11 English core class. Today I am going to teach you the first lesson of the book Hornbill. And the name of the lesson is The Portrait of a Lady. Written by Kuzbon Singh. Kuzbon Singh was a very famous writer, a celebrated journalist and a political thinker of India. He was a great man, great personality. So, we shall be very eager to know what the great man has written in the lesson, the portrait of a lady. First, we shall come to the title of the lesson, the portrait of a lady. What is the meaning of portrait? Portrait means a drawn image of a person. A painted image of a person. That is a portrait. The portrait of a lady. Who is that lady? That lady is no other than Kuzbon Singh's grandmother. We love our grandparents. We love our grandfather, grandmother. They are very loving and very affectionate and very caring to us. We have very good relationship with our grandparents. That is true. So, what relationship Kuzbun Singh had with his grandmother? In this lesson, Kuzbun Singh recollects his childhood memories, his sweet days with grandmother, the days he passed with his loving and caring grandmother. The author makes a sweet recollection of all the memories and paints this lesson, the portrait of a lady. This is an autobiographical piece. Autobiographical means the author has written about his life himself. Autobiography is the story of life written by the person himself. So this is an autobiographical piece of Kuzbon Singh. Let's come to the lesson, the portrait of a lady. What Kuzbun Singh has written about his grandmother? Yes, in the lesson we find there are different phases of relationship that Kuzbun Singh had with his grandmother. So, he makes a very nice sketch of his grandmother describing her look in a very vivid and lucid and clear manner. In his description, we find that the grandmother was a fat lady. She was short figured and she was bent in one side. She used to stoop and she had lots of crisscross wrinkles on the face. She had a wrinkled face. A face full of wrinkles means faults. And grandmother was a very pious lady. She was very much devoted to religion, very much devoted to God. She used to carry one rosary and all the time she used to count the beads of the rosary and continue her prayers. She continuously chanted prayers to God and counted the beads of the rosary. That is a very beautiful sketch made by Kuzbun Singh about his grandmother. And one day Kuzbun Singh also could see 
the portrait of his grandfather that was hung just above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. He started imagining after looking at the portrait. Yes, grandfather looked so old. He looked very old and his long white beard reached up to his chest. It almost covered the chest. So old he was, Kudrun Singh imagined. That he looked so old. I cannot imagine that. He also could have a wife and children. In my imagination, he can have only lots and lots of grandchildren. So in the same way, Kudrun Singh's grandmother was also too old. And for the last 20 years, Kudbun Singh has seen her old and she cannot be older anymore. She is so old. So nicely Kudbun Singh describes the look, the appearance of the grandmother and at the same time the appearance and look of the grandfather. Next, let's come to the different phases of relationship that Kudbun Singh had with his grandmother. So my dear students, the first relationship that Kudbun Singh had with the grandmother was in the village. When Kudbun Singh stayed in the village and went to the village school for his elementary education, his parents left Kudbun Singh along with his grandmother in the village when they were getting settled in the city. So, in the village home, Kuzbun Singh was there along with his grandmother. And grandmother played the role of a mother. She was so caring, so loving, so affectionate and helped Kudbun Singh in every respect. In the morning she used to wake Kudbun Singh up from sleep and used to make him ready for school. She used to prepare breakfast for Kudbun Singh and she used to make ready necessary things Kudbun Singh needed in the school like a reed pen, one ink pot, one wooden slate, for writing on all the things she used to put in a bundle and hand over to Kuzbun Singh. And she used to take some extra chapatis, stale chapatis to be given to the street dogs. After making everything ready, Kuzbun Singh's grandmother used to take Kuzbun Singh to school. So the school started, Kuzbun Singh used to attend his classes. What should the grandmother do at that time? Grandmother used to stay inside one temple and that temple was attached to the school. And the priest of the temple used to teach morning prayers and alphabet to the class of Kuzbun Singh. And while Kudbun Singh was attending classes, grandmother used to pass her time reading the scriptures inside the temple. And she waited for the classes to be over. As soon as the classes were over, Kudbun Singh along with his grandmother used to walk home. And the street, street dogs used to wait for them very eagerly because every day the dogs used to get chapatis. So in the hope of getting the chapatis, they used to wait for them every day. So they walked home and the dogs also followed them and enjoying the chapatis. And the dogs used to growl and fight with each other and they also used to follow Kudbun Singh and grandmother and they came up to their home. So like this they used to spend their time in the village. Next 
there is a turning point in their relationship we are coming to the twist and turns in the relationship of kudum singh with his grandmother so kudum singh and his grandmother were shifted to the city afterwards the parents of kudum singh came and took them to the city now kudum singh was going to the city kudum singh started going to the city school he started going to one english medium school in the city and grandmother could no longer accompany him to school and kudum singh used to go in a motor bus so there was no question of grandmother in accompanying kudum singh so grandmother used to stay back home and she used to work on her spinning wheel she used to chant prayers and she started feeding the sparrows sparrows a kind of birds sparrows a sparrow is a kind of bird small bird so she took to feeding the sparrows instead of the dogs so when kudum singh used to return from school grandmother used to ask him what lessons the teachers have taught you today kudum singh used to say today teachers have taught me science archimedes is law law of gravity then the earth is round all these things and kudum singh's grandmother did not understand english and she was not at all happy with kudum singh's learning all these things in the english medium school and one day kudum singh told her that he was going for a music lessons in the school kudum singh's grandmother became totally upset and disturbed she did not like kudum singh to learn music according to her music is meant for the harlots the indecent people and the beggars good people do not go for music music is not meant for good people so she was totally disturbed and she almost stopped talking to kudum singh after that another turning big turning point was that kudum singh started going to the university for higher learning for higher education now grandmother became totally alone she was totally secluded and she passed her time only on the spinning wheel chanting prayers and in the evening time in the afternoon time feeding the sparrows like this grandmother used to pass her time after some days kudum singh went abroad for further learning grandmother became totally secluded and she busied herself with the spinning wheel she did not have time to talk to anyone she became totally silent and totally secluded and she devoted herself totally to prayers she devoted to god so she devoted herself totally to god now she used to pray she used to count the beads in the rosary and in the evening time she used to feed the sparrows like this grandmother used to pass her time and that was the daily routine of grandmother after 5 years kudum singh came back home completing his university education okay completing his education abroad kudum singh came back grandmother welcomed him grandmother 
Peter hugged him lovingly and Kurban Singh could hear that grandmother was only chanting the prayers. She was still busy with chanting prayers. So Kurban Singh came home. But grandmother hardly talked to Kurban Singh. Grandmother was still busy with the sparrows, feeding the sparrows and all. And in the evening, suddenly Kurban Singh's grandmother started behaving in an abnormal way. She became somewhat abnormal. She started behaving abnormally. She gathered the women of the neighborhood and started singing. Started singing loudly. And she also started thumping the shaking skin of the dilapidated drum. So everyone wondered what happened to grandmother. All asked him not to make herself tense, not to exert her body and mind, but to keep quiet. But grandmother continued. Next morning, Grandmother was taken ill, doctor was consulted, doctor diagnosed that grandmother was suffering from mild fever. But grandmother realized that it was not mild fever and this and that. Grandmother realized that it was her end. That means her end was near. Grandmother realized that her death was very near. She was going to breathe her last. Maybe grandmother was very close to God and maybe God gave her the message that she is being taken to the heavenly abode very soon. She realized. So she decided to devote the last moments of her life to God. To God praying to God. So, she lay on bed and started counting the beads of the rosary, started saying her prayers to God. And suddenly her lips stopped and the rosary fell down from her lifeless fingers. That indicated the death of grandmother, that grandmother breathed her last. Her funeral ceremony was held according to the rituals and after that the dead body was carried away for cremation. And one surprising thing here is that, one very wonderful thing here is that the sparrows, the sparrows whom the grandmother used to feed Thousands and thousands of sparrows gathered in the courtyard. They sat in the floor of the paranda and in the floor of the room where grandmother lay dead. All the sparrows were sitting silent. They were also mourning the death of grandmother. They were also very much shocked. They were also very much shocked. Reaction of sparrows. They were, the sparrows were very much shocked at the death of grandmother and they could realize that grandmother is no more. And when the dead body was carried away, still the sparrows remained there sitting silently mourning the death of grandmother. Kurban Singh's mother thought that might be the sparrows are waiting to get the bread to eat. So she made crumbs of bread and gave to the sparrows. But the sparrows did not even look at the pieces of bread. After some time, all the sparrows flew away. So grandmother had a nice relationship with even the sparrows, even the dogs. She loved animals, birds so much. 
She established a close affinity with nature, with animals, with birds. So the sparrows loved her very much. And it was because of her love for the birds that the birds means the sparrows also were shocked at the death of grandmother because the sparrows loved grandmother very much. All the sparrows were shocked and they were lamenting the death of grandmother. My dear students, that is the summary of the lesson. There is a short summary of the lesson. The portrait of a lady. I think you have understood the subject matter of the lesson. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.